going to take a tour of what's going to be the F and B Ranch. This is Thinwood Drive right here. And right over here is Shag Road where that truck's turning in. This is my son's property, Rusty, and his wife Selena live here. Right behind there, uh, the mother-in-law, Charlene, lives. And this driveway is a driveway that we're going to use to get up to uh, our property, which is going to be over here. So we're going to take a little ride and check out the ranch. Right here is the beginning of or is our property right in here. I'm just gonna make a big circle and go around and check it out. Habitat for deer. It's called English Mountain. The hills over there are not our property. They still belong to the guy that's selling us the property, but uh, right down in there is more. That, that will all be our property right there. And again, we're going to leave that natural for all the critters. This right here is going to be our home site going to build a house. The barn's going to go around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. We have a subdivision over here. That's not going to be part of the view. That'll be from the uh, side of the house. Back over here is where Dway still owns about 300 acres, 400 acres. All that down there is going to be, that's, that's going to be our property. We're going to leave it natural for the critters. right there will be our neighbor. right there is where our property will probably stop. Um, actually, I think we might, I think we're getting, yeah, it's just this side of there, I guess. But it's all going to be that, everything down in there. That's an old chicken coop right there, which might end up being a hunt blind. This 
is our little front front lawn right here. The flags are where our drain field's going to be. That's Rusty's over there. an old home site the house burned down but there's a few little structures left this right here is going to be uh that's definitely going to be a hunting blind i got to get in there and clean it out there's a few mason jars and other stuff in there kind of thick in here probably going to leave most of that like that just for the critters there is an entrance way right here this is where the guy that comes in he does the hay and uh mowing for the hay and uh probably put a gate there and just let him use it Here's where the house sat. There's an old cistern there, which we probably, uh, I don't know, maybe make use of it. There's going to be a good hunting blind. Right up there by those big trees, on the other side of those big trees there on the right, that's going to be where the house is at. I'll probably make a couple little pads in there just for fun to kind of cruise around in. Right there's a little salt block I put for some deer. Maybe they'll come in there and chew on that. I don't know. There's part of the burnt, burnt house right there. And I can't go much further because of a barbed wire fence here, I think. And uh, I don't know, maybe I can get through there. But anyhow, there's a little crick right there. And uh, that white post over there, if you can kind of see it, right in the center of the screen is where the property marker is about. That's about where it's going to end. And uh, like where that tree's at right there, our property will be just on the other side of that, going straight back. five deer the other day and uh, cruising across there and that there used to be like the uh, the real thick stuff that's over here and I guess the guy wanted to clear it out which I'm probably not going to do I'll just a couple little pads just for fun but right there's a property stake and uh, that place we were over there where the burnt house was is kind of like straight through there. And then the rest of our property will go kind of straight through there, just, just to the right of that little pine. And the house is going to be up there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right around where all the trees are at somewhere. Kind of right up in there. Anyhow, that's F&B Ranch, man. See you.